everyone. This is Linda at the Deccan Falls Library Badge, and we're here for fall. we got some great books here for fall that Mrs. Kirkbride has gotten out for us, and I'm going to just let you look at a few of them here um, that are available, but there's lots more. So just stop in and see the ones that are, they're all about leaves, because that's what our project is this time. And I'm going to uh, read a book here about leaves and a little girl that made a book similar to what we're going to make. So um, we'll stop right for a minute and start on the book. This is one of the books at the library. It's called My Leaf Book. And it's a little girl that's made a leaf book of her own. And it's really similar to the one that we'll show you here that you can get at the library. It's called My Leaf Book by Monica Wellington. It has lots of beautiful colored leaves in it, just like it, uh, the leaves that we see now in the fall. So many trees, so many leaves. When the trees change colors, autumn is here. And I go to the park to see how many different leaves I can find. Leaves are falling from the trees and I want to contact or collect as many as I can. I catch my first one. I'm going to start a leaf book. Here's my leaf book, and here's my tree guide. And here is the leaf. It is shaped like a fan. I use a tree guide to look for a match. I find it. It's a ginkgo leaf. And it does look like fans. Some leaves are still on the trees. Some are on the ground. I gather more leaves for my leaf book. What is this one? And look, it's similar to the star. This leaf has five points. It is shaped like a star. It is from the sweet gum tree. The honey locust tree has millions of little leaves. Most trees have simple leaves and a single leaf on each stalk, like sweet gum trees. Some have compound leaves, many leaflets and a stalk, like the locust trees. The wind blows the leaf right into my hand. It's an oak leaf, a small reminder for my book of that big beautiful tree. Oak leaves are strong. They are good for my art projects. I make leaf rubbings in many colors. I make oak leaf prints for my book too. Some leaves have lobes. The leaf above has seven, if you can see it right here, those are called lobes, and the lobes are rounded. Other types of oaks have leaves with pointed lobes. Sweet gum leaves have pointed lobes too. Trees have different shapes and different barks, too. And that's another way we can find out what kind of leaf and tree it is. So many trees, so many leaves, so many colors, too. Here are leaves of red and violet and orange. What kind are they? So many clues to help me. Now I have birch, willow, cherry, and all leaves to put in my book. I am careful with them because they are getting dry and brittle. And here's the birch and here's the willow. Leaves have, have veins. The veins are those little mark, straight marks there. Their pattern can look like a feather as in these leaves and in the oak leaves too. Sometimes the veins radiate from the base of the, of the leaf as in the sweet gum. And that, here's the sweet gum here. And the cherry. Shapes, shapes, so many different shapes. These are like hearts. This tree has, has leaves that are not all the same shape. Some are like mittens. I add linden and sassafras leaves in my book. These are the linden um, over here. It tells you about the sassafras. The edges of the leaves are either smooth 
or toothed. The, e the edges of the linden leaves have teeth. The edges of the sassafras leaves are smooth. The days are getting shorter and the air is getting colder. Autumn trees are grow glowing bright. This one is the most colorful of all. It is the maple tree. And this tree here in Ohio, you can see all the beautiful colors now starting to change. The maple leaves are splendid. Every shade of red and orange I can imagine. My leaf book is full. I have found so many beautiful leaves, which is my favorite. I don't know. The tree can have both little leaves and big leaves, the shape of the leaves, the presence of the lobes and the teeth, and the pattern of the veins are better ways to help identify trees. I love them all. And here tells about a leaf project. And this is what we're going to do today, is start a leaf book. And I'll, I'll show you exactly how we can put it together. So this is what we have here at the library, if you uh, can stop in. Mrs. Kirkbride's got a My Leaf Journal just for you. And you can see it's blank. That's what we're going to do here in a minute, show you different ways we can put uh, our leaves together in the journal. And she has a list of all the, uh, the books about the trees and leaves. But one thing you have to do to in, in your leaf book is to find out what type of tree it came from. And there's different ways you can do it. You probably can get on uh, the internet or something. But, uh, but we have these guides here at the library that helps out. And there's other ways besides just the leaves to find out what type of trees. Um, it shows the pictures of them. Uh, it shows there's the ginkgo tree that we talked about in the, in the story that we read. And it shows the shape of the trees when all the leaves are off. And there's also seeds that go along with the tree. And you can see here, here's some seeds from one of the trees. And you can identify it maybe by the uh, seeds if you don't know the name. Now, leaves come in different shapes, but it also co they come in different sizes. And you can see some little bug has been eating on this leaf. But this is a huge one. And you probably will need with some a guide if you can't find it. But it, it, these are available here at the library. OK, now what I want to show you now is how you can put the book together like the little girl had uh, there in the book we read. And there's a lot of different ways to work on leaves. So let's get started. Okay, here's one, here's one way to put your leaves together. Um, if you're lucky enough, get your leaves before they start wrinkling up a little bit and flatten them in a piece of like a newspaper or something and then put a big book on top of it. You can just slide them inside so it takes out the moisture a little bit and the book helps keep it flat. You might have to do that with your leaves before you start putting in the book. But you can use the tape, just like scotch tape, to put it on. And make sure you can write down the, the name of, of the tree. You might want to use stickers. Here I've put a little frog on this. Maybe the frog's jumping on this. And this one, uh, we had to use the book to figure this one out because we couldn't remember what type of tree because it's got all the, the different the veins and everything, but we couldn't remember, but we found it was a tulip tree and we found it in the identification book. Again, this one, I kind of glued the whole thing together. And now this one I did a little bit differently. And if you're going to do this, you might have to have help from your mom or a, an older person because I used wax paper. All of you have seen wax paper. And I just put it, I just took a piece and I put it over this uh, leaf and I ironed it. And, and in order for you to do this, you'll have to ask your parents or an older person to help you on it because uh, those irons get hot. But I just ironed it a little bit and it gave that wax to it so it wouldn't uh, wrinkle quite as much as it, as it gets older. And then I taped it in with tape. Now another way, I took these leaves you can see they're inside the wax paper 
and these are the leaves of the dogwood and I folded the wax paper over or put two sheets on it stuck the leaves in between and used an iron so that's another way you could use wax paper to keep your leaves and this one maybe you have this I just pressed it in a piece of newspaper in a filter, a coffee filter, and pressed it there and, and kept it, and, and that helped dry it because of the filter, kind of took the moisture out of it. And then I just taped it on. Okay, with this one, I wanted to kind of put a, um, a shape into this to see what kind of shape it was. So I put the leaf that I had pressed and, I, and you can tape it down later if you want to, but as I took the side of the crayon and went over the top of it, and I'm sure you've probably done this in school, and this gave me kind of the shape, and I knew that, you know, just a fun thing to do. It's nothing in that will really preserve it, but you could then tape it to your book. And I also kind of skipped a page, so on the back, my leaves are kind of green because I picked them early, but now they're changing color. So I might put another copy of it and tape it maybe on the back of the pages so I can see how they change over the, the fall. Another thing you can do, and maybe you've done this before, is take an, a crayon. You can use any color you want. Maybe you want to use a nice bright one in order to have the fall colors. But you just stick the... Here I think it's a wisteria leaf, and this is a tiny one, and you have to press kind of hard in order to get the look of the leaf. But look how neat it is when it comes through. You can see the veins, the shape, and the little leaves. So that's another way to preserve or get a picture of some of the leaves that we have here in Ohio. This is another fun way to I'll work with your leaves in your leaf book. And this one is with some sort of paint. It could be poster paint. And this gets a little bit messy, so you want to do it away from your uh, book until they dry. But you need to take, oops, that's not a tree. This is a, here you can see it. This is a, a, a hibiscus or a rose of Sharon. You can see, look at the flower pods here and the seeds. I'll just take one of these. These are starting to dry a little bit, but we'll take some of these. I think, yeah, this is the Rose of Sharon that I did there. And this is the way you do that uh, way of preserving or putting uh, some color in your book. You'll need a paintbrush and a piece of paper, kind of just a uh, trash or newspaper or something like that. And you kind of want flat leaves in order to uh, get a lot of paint on them and do this part of it. Okay, let me get a page here to show you. Well, we'll just work from here. Okay, you color your, paint, your leaves and really put lots and lots of paint on your leaves. Okay, and that's why you need paper underneath it because it's kind of messy. And you can do a, it on a separate sheet of paper and then tape it into your book or you can do it right in your book. You want to be careful that you don't uh, get it smeared all over. But anyway, I put it in the book. And I'll do another page here just to show you how you can put it together. And I flipped it over. And you can put as many as you want here. And you've got to have it covered pretty good. And be careful when you put them down so they don't slide around. And then what you need to do is just put a piece of, of uh, maybe a paper towel or something of it so it doesn't get on the next page. And you just rub on it and see. It gets fence. But you cover that up with a sticker or something. And anyway, here you can have... Now, I did that quickly, so it may not be as good as the other one. Oops, there it is. And you have to carefully take off your leaves. See how they come off? Now, look, you can even see the veins of the leaves. But now, 
you have to leave that open for a while. Don't close the book until it's completely dry. Maybe you could borrow your mom's hair dryer, blow it, blow it dry a little bit. But anyway, that's a fun way to do your books too. So that's your book, so you can do just about anything you want. So try to stop by at the library and see if you have uh, a chance to get one of these books and pick up some books to read too. And one leaf that I did not get to share in my book because of the Buckeye leaf, which is the tree of Ohio, all the leaves had fallen off. But look here, found the Buckeye. And all you do, these are laying all over the ground. And look, here they are. And there are our Buckeyes. And there's even some tiny little ones. And look how easy it is to collect the Buckeyes. So boys and girls, have fun. Go out and collect those leaves and make your own leaf book and learn the names of the book of the uh, trees and the leaves. Maybe you can collect lots of them. So go have fun. See you next time. Bye.